thank you all for coming over um so your outcome here we're just going to jump right into it is the eight of swords now I just, I, I feel like you're, de you could be definitely dealing with someone who has a significant placement of Gemini, um, because they seem caught up in their head, but I don't really feel like it's you. You seem to have been taking on more of a confident, fiery, this how I'm coming, I'm moving forward, either way, type of energy. Both of you guys could be air signs or have some significant placement of air. Show me Libra's perception of this being their outcome. Show me Libra's perception of this being their outcome. He don't want you anymore. You have withdraw here, yes. Yeah? See? You have shadow and withdraw. Mm. And then look, you have get wild in place. So see, there goes that 10 of cups energy again. There's a big 20 energy here. Show me that person's perception of this being the outcome. Wow, you have three. Well, this comes back out. I definitely feel like they're either getting rid of competition or they're coming through to get rid of your competition. <laughs> the creator would transmute here. Yeah, they're deciding to take some type of opportunity and make the most of it is what I'm getting here. There goes another eye. Somebody is seeing this so clearly. Externally, you have the dare to dream, but you also have the void here with speak your truth. Somebody is just completely terrified to speak up. There's divine timing at play here. I mean, I'm recording this on the 30th of January, so Mercury is technically still retrograde. It will be stationing itself direct on the 3rd. Tell me one more thing about Libra's perception. Ooh. Yeah, okay, you might be the one that's in your head. It's back out here. Look, reclaim, ascension, and the sage. You at a crossroads. Mm-hmm. You at a crossroads or somebody is at a crossroads. Somebody does want to like, they know that there's something healing or you know that there's something healing about this connection that you're going to be moving towards. Okay, I just want this. I just want these two out here. I feel like that's your ancestors too. Like, I just want these two out here. Like, it's something very divine. Like, somebody got some type of purpose with a partner and i just feel like the angels are done waiting the universe is just done waiting they're like now bring her in <laughs> bring him in you know let's see what is the influence of this eight of swords being here spirit leo the lover this is all about expression Somebody's love language is like physical touch. Let me just put that out there, okay? Because I, yeah, opposition and balance and you have the fifth house here. Somebody's physical touch or somebody's like love language. Can we just be adults? Like somebody love language is fucking. <laughs> they don't know how to talk about how they feel. They just, they want to show you. Yeah, fifth house, that's passion, balance, intimacy. That is how, like, this, yeah. Mm -mm. This is like if the walls could talk in whatever room y'all about to be in or whatever room y'all was in. Who, honey? Oh. This is a really, really sexy energy. Now, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea about this person that they just like, they just want to get in your pants. I don't really sense that. I don't. I don't really sense that. I sense that this person's love language is touch. They're not very good at expressing the way that they feel. Um, this could definitely be someone who has a significant placement of Virgo too. That's kind of random, but Virgo's love language is acts of like service 
So it could be a situation like this person wants to massage you or, you know, like this person wants to cook for you or they want to run bath water for you or, you know, wash your car or whatever the case may be. Like it's, there's an energy of acts of service because the fifth house is showing up here. It lets me know that it's not just sex, but it could also be like wanting to wine and dine you, wanting to go on dates, that type of thing. They want to see you face to face. They want to be close. You have Leo, the lover here. Here you are in this card. It could definitely be a Leo, a Libra, a Taurus that you're connecting to. But this is this is rather divine. I just, I this is definitely happening. I just don't know that there's going to be any type of, um, this might be the only heads up that you get. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like this person is going to come in strong. Yeah, look, you got cancer and the moon here. Yeah, this is how they, it's about this person's love language. Now, but the interesting thing, just I want you to be mindful of this, is that part of this person's like karma and then working through their shadow has been the biggest challenge of working through their shadow is talking through things and not just jumping into physical expression. I feel like that has gotten them into some really fucked up connections in the past. And it's like they almost like they hold, oof, there's somebody got a beast on the leash. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, like somebody got their beast on the leash when it comes to you. Like they want to let loose. But in the past, that hasn't gotten them anywhere. And I feel like that's why this, like, that two of wands, like, being at a crossroads, it keeps coming up because they want to say something. They don't know how to say it or what to say. If some of you, some of you guys, too, like, if you know who this is, I would highly recommend that you just go ahead and reach out to them and initiate the conversation because this person about to drive themselves crazy thinking about what to say to you. Yeah, like their emotions, that's what they're working through. That part of their shadow, expressing their emotions. Because that's also what Leo is about. It's a very expressive energy. It's very like extroverted. Um, but everything about this person is extroverted except for their emotions, how they genuinely feel. They only really know how to show you. Okay. Um, I want to use a different deck of cards. Spirit, can you show me, tell me more about the Nine of Swords being the outcome here? It's the lovers. Oh, it's, it's the Six of Wands and the lovers. <sighs> this is Jupiter and Leo. You got Gemini here. Wow, Libra. Mm -mm. oh my god and you got the six of cups on the bottom of the deck my stomach keep dropping y'all with the emperor and he came out in the previous reading but i think the camera had cut off man this is like too like i get like this the strong strong silent type this person is studying you mm -hmm. they says there's an energy of them sitting on the sidelines I also feel an energy where one of you is ahead of the curve as far as working through your shadow and one of the other, uh, the other one of you is not. Hence, there's somebody sitting on the sideline, like waiting on someone to come the rest of the distance. How does this make Libra feel? Eight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm trying to get grounded. <laughs> this is the chariot in the eight of pentacles. Y'all, what fell over here? You got the ten of pentacles, the two of wands, the queen of wands. Something went wrong with wherever they like currently live. My stomach keeps dropping. Yeah, you got the mother of fire and the daughter of fire out here. Hold on, y'all. Let me pick some of these up. This shit didn't fell everywhere. This is like, ooh, somebody's gonna, this like a word vomit. <laughs> they don't go from saying nothing to everything. Well, I hear 
I don't know why I'm hearing Cat Williams. Everything, everything. <laughs> everything, everything. Hold on, y'all. These cards went everywhere. Um, see, that's the sun, the two of pentacles, and the queen of swords. And that's what I'm saying. Like, something about this energy is mirrored like you walked away from somebody they walked away from somebody or even it yeah oh, tell me more about the chariot and the eight of pentacles here this is working out in everyone's favor yeah with the ace of wands this is happening this is working out yeah this is working out you have the nine of pentacles in reverse with the hangman and the two of cups somebody is still like there's some last few loose ends to tie up is what i'm hearing yeah judgment with the page of swords like yeah there's with the will of fortune there that's the last there's some last i don't know why i heard the last straw um what can libra expect from this person A truce, four swords. Whoever this was that was in like some space of like banishment, they're coming forward. There definitely could be some type of apology. This is Jupiter in your sign, Jupiter in Libra. So it's definitely some sense of expansion on your behalf. It could be definitely expansion in the fourth house as well. So for those of you who do not want to get pregnant, wrap it up because Jupiter and Libra this being the number four it could be expansion at the house this is fifth house is about children you have eighth house intimacy here i didn't already told y'all that this person love language is fucking you got the high priestess here i know i'm right Ooh, beast on a leash y'all look <laughs> somebody about to unleash they beast on you look King of Swords with the star. Somebody got a bright idea about some sexual healing. Oh, y'all, I'm going to have to get out this energy. It's a little too sexy for me. I'm too sexy for my... <laughs> okay, um, that's what you can expect. Who can Libra expect? Who, 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 who? Three of Cups. Tell me one more thing about this. The Magicians coming out as an issue... With the Ten of Cups. This is a dream. My stomach keep dropping. It could be... I get Pisces. Taurus. Cancer. Gemini. Scorpio. Tell me one more thing. Who? Who's coming towards Libra? Yeah, big Taurus energy. King of Pentacles, Three of Wands. They definitely match you. So when I say that, it's like if you're a sun in Libra, they might be a sun in Aries. If you're Venus in Libra, they could be Venus in Aries. There's something somewhere in you all's chart. It matches. Even like this could be someone who's a rising in Leo. You could be a rising in Scorpio. But there's somewhere else in you all's chart where like, yeah, I keep feeling like one in seven. Like something about you all's charts match. Father of Earth with the three of wands. This is sun in Taurus, sun in Aries, sun in Cancer. I see sun in Pisces. They have some other significant placement of Gemini as well, but I don't feel like it's their main sign. And then, well, this is Sagittarius energy and you have Gemini crossing it. That's one in seven. Again, that lets me know that like there's something about you all's charts that matches, that's compatible. Hence, like your love language might be to receive acts of service and this person's love language is to give acts of service there's something very balanced here but y'all not talking about it with all these swords being here like down as the outcome 
Tell me what Libra's next action should be towards this person. Nothing, baby. You definitely are in your season of receiving. Don't you make a move. Look, eight of wands, here they come. They coming in fast, baby. They is coming in fast. Queen, King of wands in reverse with the devil. King of wands. King of wands in reverse with the devil. Yeah, see, this person hasn't come forward yet because there is an energy of like wanting to respect you. And they feel like if they come in, how they feel in my head, my crown chakra just start hurting. They feel like if they come in right now, again, like that, letting that beast off the leash, they don't know that, yeah, they're trying to do the right thing with the hierophant here. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm giggling, y'all, because I'm sitting here telling y'all that they trying not to let the beast off the leash and then spirit going to show us the monk. <laughs> they everything but the monk, okay? No disrespect, but he this, per, this person can't wait to come up out them robes, okay? I'm just saying. Tell me one more thing about um, the action Libra should take with the Queen of Swords coming out as an issue. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This is an energy of waiting on something to ripen with the Two of Wands. I just, I don't know if it, I think it probably cut, I don't know if it had cut off in the other reading, but I was saying that there's like a energy of like somebody, there's an interception. This is like seeing somebody where you didn't expect to see them or someone calls you when you least expect it or they call you at like a weird time and it catches you off guard. Like somebody calls you at work and you're like, oh shit. You know, like you scurry and trying to get out the door so you can answer your phone. Like it's that type of energy. Definitely is going to catch you off guard, but it's going to be like, wow, this is so sweet, whatever it is. Because something about the time is perfected. Yeah, you look, the sun, the ace of cups, and strength. Shh. Okay, I, I like this energy, which is why I keep reading it, but I'm going to have to get on. Uh, <laughs> tell me what type of actions this person is planning on taking towards Libra. What actions are they? Uh, yeah, this is the page of cups. There's a surprise. Mm -hmm. Emperor with the six of wands back out here. There is a surprise. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, back out here. They about to let that beast off the leash. Don't say I ain't tell you so. Do not say I ain't tell you so. Okay, I want to pull you guys a couple more of these. Look, love and success. This is a Two of Cups energy. I want to pull you guys a couple more of these just to see like what how this conversation is going to look later on rather it's an energetic conversation or an actual like verbal con conversation before you and this person throat chakra i got a big ego could definitely be dealing with a leo about to let that beast off the leash and then you got tend into the garden yeah this person is really really trying to stay away from you is counterproductive <laughs> look crying comp i'm telling you crying confidence like oh libra can't hide your reflection i'm telling y'all there's a mirroring energy something about y'all charts match something about y'all energy matches look heavy on the mirror this person want to see you um, but again, like I said, for those of you who know, like this is a Leo or, you know, that this is um, someone who has like a significant placement of Gemini and they might be like heavily affected by Mercury retrograde right now. Even Aquarius, um, you it may be in your best interest to go ahead and reach out to them, even if it's casual. But because see this two of wands, it's like there is an energy of like touching base thank you spirit that's what i get off this card it's like an energy of touching base with this person but still staying in your energy and being very mindful of your worthiness 
I just want one more spirit. I just like these cards so much. Look, a surprise, a gift, a gesture. And then you have facing the shadow. I'm telling you. Somebody. Go get it. I really want to say that this came out in Gemini's reading. In this one too. If you don't want a Gemini, you might want to go and watch their reading. Um... Let me just get you an advice card. What's the advice here? I feel like I already gave it to you, but I'm going to ask. Destruction. This on your person's side. They got to tear down their ego, tear down their walls. I don't know why that felt so sexual when I said that. Y'all in trouble. <laughs> Y'all is in trouble. I'm, I'm not going to front, y'all. This is so sexual. Like, this person get you in a room, baby. You're not going to look the same when you come out. That's all I got to say. For those of you that um, enjoyed this reading, thank you very much. If you didn't enjoy this reading, I don't really know what to say. I don't I don't know what to say. It ain't your turn. It, I don't know what to say. But it's a Libra, okay? It's a Libra out here. Yes, I'm so here for this. Let me not even play with y'all. Let me show, show y'all. It's love here on the external part of this, this deck. Okay. So anyway, Libra, thank you so much for coming and I hope to see you guys again. Goodbye.